Hey Waldwick, Rutz here, and today we are going to learn how to set up the laser engraver. So let's orient ourselves. There we go. So we can orient ourselves in using the laser engraver. What we have is an emblazer 2 right here near our window, and it's in our maker section of our classroom. A little bit of a mess right now. But the whole purpose of this video is for me to introduce the different parts that are important and how to set up for a print. Don't mind this infinite display. All right, so we have the engraver and then we have our air filtration unit. Absolutely necessary to turn on your air filtration unit whenever you use the laser engraver. There's three settings. You press it once, it goes to green. Ooh, it twice, it should go to blue. Three times it goes to red. After red, it's going to become turned off. If you're doing a laser engraving, I want you in blue or red. Preferably red, because then it's going to filter more bad stuff out. Um, here you can see the hose continues through all the way to the back of our laser engraver. So let's look at the outside of the laser engraver first. There's two important things. One is our power button right here on the left side. And on the opposite side, mirrored, is our laser engage button. This is a safety device uh, so that whenever you're running your laser, um, it'll actively disengage it in case the lid's open. So when we open it up, I'm going to show you that channel. There's a hole in the back. That goes to the air filtration unit, and it pulls out any smoke, any fumes that could be toxic. So you want to make sure that that has the hose connected in the back. Uh, you're going to see a system of pulleys in both the X and Y axis, and there is actually a mechanism that's going to change the Z axis on this and make it you know, engrave, cut further down. Um, this is the laser itself. It's only about 5 watts, which is amazing, but uh, it does the job. And then you've got a little fan in the back that's going to pull out fumes as it's burning up your material. Uh, you're going to see a couple of mats. It's kind of rubbery feeling. It's, uh, I guess, silicone based. And just in case it cuts through your material, it doesn't burn the metal. That is part of the machine. Uh, try not to move these because I like to calibrate the center line. And you can see it in person. It's at the very center. You're going to have this little connection of four different mats. It's calibrated to the software. So don't touch this. If it gets off put, that's fine. Just let me know. We can fix it. And then really lastly, you have there's a camera in the back of the laser engraver which will allow you to check out what's going on on the inside. Uh, I was telling you about the safety protocol, safety uh, kill switches that they have whenever you open the lid. Here you're going to see some metal tabs. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, I don't know, uh, probably copper, copper, I don't know, coated. And on the lid, you're going to have two metal plates, which would connect to those copper tips, whatever and complete the circuit, allowing it to turn on. So those are the parts. And now let's go into how you set up for the print. First off, you're going to make sure that you turn on this filter. Like I said before, green's no good, blue's good. Then you can turn on the laser engraver so it can be recognized in your computer. And lastly, you're going to have this button here. You have to press that every time you open the lid. Otherwise, the laser will not work. Next thing that I'm going to teach you is how to use the software that goes along with the Blazer 2. 